on you. What's your mindset heading into week three against Seattle? Um, just put in as much work as I can. Um, I've been putting in a lot of work in the off season, especially with Dak. And I think, um, you know, now it, it's time to, you know, lock in on the little details and make sure that we're all good on, you know, points and, you know, the, the looks that we're going to get. And, you know, I've been spending a lot of extra time here uh, watching film, whether it be in the hot tub, cold tub, watching film, um, going home, watching more film. I'm just trying to be trying to be that Sean Lee bookworm. You know, I'm, I'm not here till 10 p.m., but like, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to learn something from him. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just putting the onus on me to, you know, make sure that I'm as prepared as I can be and be, be out there on Sundays ready to make plays. I assume I, I know you don't get to the NFL without being confident. But, you know, your your first game where they're leaning on you to be the primary top, you know, the top tight end, Blake is out. Uh, week one probably doesn't go the way you want it to. What does it do for your confidence to respond with a game like that? I mean, not just the 88 yards and the touchdown, but nine catches on 10 targets. Obviously, Dak looked for you a lot. What does it do for you uh, to put that on tape and, and know that you can deliver like that? Um, I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a positive for, you know, self-confidence reasons. But I, I think, you know, I, I knew that I was capable of that. And I think that was a, a good reminder that, you know, a lot of hard work can really pay off. Um, but I think the most important thing is not to, you know, not to relax. So I think I, I've taken the same approach this week. Um, I've been in getting more jugs, getting, you know, like I said, more film um, and just trying to get ready to do it again.